planets have been discovered orbiting a sun very similar to our own. The planets are just 12 light years away and uh, sit in the habitable zone just far enough away from the star CT to sustain life. To tell us more about these planets is Andrew Fazekas, also known as the night sky guy and an astronomy expert with the National Geographic. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. What do you know about these new planets? Wow, you know, it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, yes, this is a, we're, we're talking about five planets that are circling a star that's really in our neighborhood in, when it comes to talking about the Milky Way galaxy, our home galaxy. It's only 12 light years away. And the, the star that these planets are circling are very much like the sun. It's a little bit uh, uh, dimmer, just slightly, a little bit smaller, but it's really considered by astronomers as sun-like. And it's bright enough to see in the night sky. You can actually step out on any clear night this time of the year and look towards the southeast, and you can point it out uh, with your finger, the, the star. So it's bright enough to see with the naked eye. And these planets are... Uh, one of them, actually, one of them is in, in what's called the habitable zone, or what astronomers affectionately call the Goldilocks zone. And this is where water can potentially exist in liquid form. Uh, so it's not too hot, not too cold, it's just perfect. And th that's important when we talk about the potential for life, because as we understand life, the basic, one of the basic ingredients is water. You need to have liquid water. So this planet uh, this is, is close enough to the star that water can exist in liquid form. It's not frozen out, and that's very exciting to astronomers because it maybe have a potential for life. So can you tell if there's life there right now? We can't. We just don't have the, the equipment just yet. But, I, uh, but this, th this finding now is going to move uh, the, the Tau Ceti planetary system up on the list of, of, of candidates that uh, we are going to be looking at. And it's bright enough. What's so exciting is that because it's so close at 12 light years away, uh, it's one of the, the, the top, top closest stars to us. Uh, these planets, we should be able to detect the atmospheres of these planets very soon with, with our, our telescopes. And if we can do that in the next maybe five years or so, we'll be able to tell if what kind of gases are inside the atmosphere. Is there oxygen? Could there be methane, for instance? That's a key in indicator of life. Uh, could there be chlorophyll, you know, indicator of plant life? Lots of interesting things could be developing. And this is going to be one of those candidates we're going to be definitely looking at. So it was out there. We can see it right there in the sky. Why did it take so long to discover them? Well, the, the thing is that, yes, the star is very bright and easy to see. The problem is, is that the signals that we were getting, that scientists were analyzing to see if it does have planets, it was very noisy. Uh, the, we have over 6,000 observations that have been done of, of this, of this uh, star system, except it's just been so full of noise that it was hard to pick out the very small, exquisitely you know, dim signals of these planets. But this new technique that astronomers are using uh, uh, in this, this new study was able to pick out these five individual signals representing five separate planets. And one of those planets is sitting in that sweet spot called the Goldilocks zone that's making everyone so excited. Okay, Andrew, thanks so much. My pleasure.